Hey there, watch people. Well, I had a couple of requests to show how these mainspring winders work. So I thought I'd make a little video real quick, kind of detailing them. This here is just a random barrel. I'm not gonna do any cleaning on it just yet. I'm just gonna detail how this works. So if I can get this to come out, there we go. Get this pulled out. One thing you do want to make sure of anytime you pull out a mainspring from a barrel is to make sure you realize which way the coil is turning. In this case, it is going clockwise. That will become important when you go to put it back on the winder. It needs to go the proper direction. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Just get it started. This looks like a, an older mainspring, which for this purpose won't really matter. But we'll get it pulled out. And I'm not using finger cuts right now because, like I said, I'm not actually doing the cleaning on this one. I'll clean this one later. It's one that I'm working on. Now, this mainspring is an older version, but it seems to be in fairly decent shape. Probably is fatigued to a point where it needs to be replaced, but we're just going to show this off real quick so remember that we had it in a counterclockwise I'm sorry clockwise configuration when we pulled it out so it needs to go back into that same way <clears throat> first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and measure this barrel and it is measuring 9.16 Measured it in a couple places just to make sure that you're not hitting the, the indentation where the spring is going to catch and getting too big of a reading because that could see there 9.24 versus 9.15. That could affect a little bit of which winder you choose. In this case, it's just over 9 millimeters. So I will find, I will just go ahead and use my 9mm M9. You see there, this one's been used a little bit. It's kind of got a little fatigue. That shouldn't matter. Pull that out. We'll pull this out. And we'll pull this out. So the way that you do this is that <clears throat> this portion right here, Will basically be the same orientation that your barrel is so you'll go ahead and place your mainspring on this the same way it would wind when it goes into the barrel then what you do is you would find the what is it the little pin that you have in there and like I said, you want to make sure that that is going against the wind. So it will actually catch. Take this off for a second. It goes against the wind. So if it's winding in clockwise fashion, you want this to be pointed counterclockwise, anti-clockwise. So when you put this on and you rotate this, it'll catch in the hole and keep it from spinning around. I don't know how easy to see. Notice here it's going against the wind and when I try to pull it, it is catching it and keeping it from moving. Now what you'll do is you'll take your, your winder portion of it, place it on top, and you want to make sure that you grab the portion, the spot that is wider than the rest you notice here that's not all that wide 
not all that wide. And this has the angled portions that help you <clears throat> push that into. And so what you'll end up doing with this is you pull the end and get it centered inside there. This is where the finicky part comes into it. You want to get it pulled out and kind of centered in there. Sometimes you need to use your tweezers to kind of push it back underneath. That way you're pulling it. You don't want to pull too much and deform your spring. You see there it just popped down into position. And go ahead and wrap this around like so. So now what I do is I hold the top portion down. Lighting is horrible. My apologies. Hold the top portion down and whichever way it needs to wind that's the way that you will turn the bottom while keeping the top stationary. Get it to a point where your bridle is close to going in and then you'll take your tweezers and you will kind of push it in guide the bridle down into position and once it gets to a point where it's down inside you'll then let this unwind and now there's no more tension now what I'll do is I'll pull this portion back out just so that it's not putting pressure and you can just pull this straight out if your little pin comes out that's fine because it, it's meant to do that so that it doesn't try and pull your mainspring back out so now we grab our depthing and we just push it to, until it stops make sure that it's there's no gap here so that it has too much of a gap inside you can see there that there is a slight gap there now what you'll do is I pull this back out there again so there's no pressure trying to push my spring out and I will pull this apart with that knob you can see here that it is sticking out enough but not so much that the spring is going to just fly out on you you can also see where you would be able to notice the bridle you'll go ahead grab your barrel and find the the location that the bridle is going to catch on and try to get those two positions lined up fairly well when you push this on make sure that this is pushed down all the way hold on to it push it down you notice it pushed it down now your mainspring is in your barrel it is not in the correct location but once the arbor is put into place and it winds it up that should catch where it needs to be actually it seems like it might have actually caught in the right spot so all is good now what you can do is grab your barrel or your arbor rather stick it back in make sure that it catches on the hole this seems like maybe that inner wind has widened out just a little bit which is probably not that big a deal for what it is right now we'll just make sure that this is caught and then we will place our barrel lid back on top there's a little fiber there like I said it's not going to matter too much We'll place our barrel lid back on top. The way that I've always done this is I try to line this little hole up with the end of my bridle just so I can kind of see what's going on. 
The good thing about this little piece right here is that it has a small hole right there that you can then use your pusher, your plunger, to push on top and push the barrel lid back into place. And that's basically it. Now we have our mainspring back in the barrel. It's in the right orientation and we didn't stretch it out. We didn't have to use our fingers. Um, this one will end up being cleaned at a later date once I get the proper parts. And yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions about this, put them down in the comments. Let me know. And I'll try to answer as many as I can. As always, like, subscribe, comment, notification bell. And we'll see you later.